Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Tina. So, uh, last video we talked about GSP use bin theory part, and this video we're gonna write some demo to prove the theory is correct. Okay, so now uh, here uh, we will create a new file called what? GSP, uh, how about we call it GSP use bin? Okay. Just uh, follow the convention we created here, here. use bin.gsp, right? And here in the index index.gsp, I will add another link which will go to gsp use bin, use bin, okay? And here we are using also gsp, oh sorry, use bin action, okay? Oh sorry, had too much for my dinner. <laughs> So the first one, uh, let me change the title, title. So the GSP use bin, uh, use bin, like this one. Action. Yo, use bin should be capital, right? Let me check. GSP use, use bin. Uh, this one should be capital, sorry. Bin. And, uh, let me change this one. Uh, it's a capital. Very yeah, good. Okay. Now, uh, I don't want to create a servlet which is used to like uh, set attributes in request and session and application scope. So here I will just using scriptlet, okay, to show you. So our demo will keep uh, simple. The first demo I will show you is a location, which is you to locate. The first one is uh, uh, locate a bin, uh, an, an existing bin in a page a request a session uh, or application scope okay and now here the first one i will create a person okay so how to do that uh, person p equals new person okay import and uh, for this case we can uh, using this one Okay, because that's a locator, we can use in this, uh, pr oh my God, we can use, sorry, excuse me, mm. we can use in the customized uh, person, so I don't need to call setter, get a method, okay. So here I will call person, which is Tina, uh, X-I-N-G, okay, and uh, then we were using page dot set page context dot set no page dot set attribute okay and here i will give person and this one gonna be the p okay and the next one is a page context or page i couldn't oh my god i just uh, use bin okay id what is this id id must to be exactly same as this one okay and then another one is uh, done because default scope is a page scope and here we are using page scope i get is a page or page context uh, i'm not certain Let, let's change okay i already forgot <laughs> okay so uh this one is to retrieve okay which will locate this person uh, here I have to using another uh, tab, another GSP action in order to show you we actually retrieve the successful, which is called the get property. Okay. Uh, person, uh, sorry, sorry, GSP get property, and the name. This name, this name has to be exactly same as this one. And this property, we are trying to get the first name and last name. So we just set the first name and last name. Okay. Here is the first name, which is uh, this one. First name. Okay. Oh, sorry, sorry. It's uh, first name and the last name. We can do. This is the first name, and another one is uh, GSP uh, get property name is person and uh, last name the, those these two tag are used to retrieve property from this bin okay um it's pretty easy and we will talk about it later but i have to use them now okay and now let's uh, redeploy deploy okay 
feel this is a page context. Okay, just couldn't remember. Oh my god. Why my laptop is also slow? Because my previous laptop is slow. That's why I bought a new one. But this one seems also slow. I don't have a lot of applications running, okay? So, deploy successfully. Okay, good. And our, G our browser is uh, opened, okay? And this is our index.jsp. And now we click this one. Eee! Missing type. Mm, it has to have a type. Okay, so here, I do. Do we have to have a type? Uh, miss dot xng dot model dot person. Me? Eh? Last time when I do it, doesn't have a type. Oh my god. Mm, the way I debug is what they want. I just add it. Okay. So I add it and it goes back. Okay. Okay, now I'm uh, able to compile JSP. I think it's yes, because of this one. 17, okay. I don't, let me change this one, okay? I don't think that's a problem. It should be page context. <clears throat> I just feel it's something is uh, not correct. I remember when I... Okay. Okay, okay, good, good. Now let's go. But if it is still need a type, we'll add a type, okay. Ah, sorry, I didn't need a type. Ah, ah. Miss.xing.model.person. Okay. Okay, I think last time what I did is uh, I directly add a class here. Okay, let's go. I didn't expect it to be like this, okay? Okay. Now, uh, the first locate, right? And I get my values, okay? Tina, Tina is by first name and last name is XING. And that's, this is my uh, uh, paragraph. Okay. Add a paragraph here. Sorry, add a paragraph here. Got it? This is the one. I think if we give class here, it also works. Let's try, okay. Mm, good, now let's go and refresh. Use bin, you will see it still can get, okay. Uh, last time I think I using class, not a type. Okay, type is also fine. But when we use a class and uh, the ID is already fine, it won't create another one. It will just using locate that one. And I suppose here I using request. Okay, when we using request, now you will see the both of the value gonna be none. The reason is for request, uh, session and application scope, you have to explicitly to set the scope because the page scope is a default, but the others are not. So now when I go back, refresh one and click, you will see both of them are not. It cannot be true. In this case, you have to give a scope, sorry, and which is request. And now we can get it. Okay, and now uh, let me show you here. Click, you will see. Okay, it's a uh, request scope. So this is the one. Second one I want to show you. Sorry, second one I want to show you is to uh, create a bin, uh, and uh, and uh, and uh, create a bin. Okay, and you can set in. You can also set inside the each of the scope to create it's still using gsp use bin okay uh, you can give a non name called uh, person2 it must be different because if you still using person then it's gonna be locate okay and we can using class okay miss 
xng model dot deploy okay but uh, we type i can using miss dot xng dot model dot person because uh, employee employee what employee extends on the person so type can be can use the super type okay and after that you close okay but in this case we haven't learned another tag called GSP set property. I will do like this one. So in this case, all my uh, first name, last name, and uh, uh, salary, they, they are going to be the default value. Okay, so now here, let me add another one. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. Okay, copy and paste here. And here I will using person two, okay. And the first name and a person two also has what? Person two also has a salary. Okay. Okay. And uh, when it is extension, it will always using the default constructor. Let me show you. Employee. Okay. System out. Uh, employee constructor okay and uh, now let's uh, uh, run okay good and we'll go to the browser and refresh and click here uh, this one will create a bin all of them are now and uh, for testing purpose here Okay, for testing purpose here, we can give default values. Okay, we can give default values. Suppose I will give default values is uh, uh, William. Okay, this one is uh, Edward. Okay, and now the salary we will give a default value is uh, 1000. And uh, let's go and uh, redeploy. Uh, this is uh, for testing purpose. Okay. And uh, you shouldn't do like this way. Oh, by the way, I forgot to show you this one. Okay, now let's go and uh, go back, refresh, click. You will see William Edward and the 1000 and the, our default constructor is being called. Okay, so this is uh, how you use uh, uh, GSP, use bin. Okay, and uh, oh, uh, last one, yes, uh, uh, last one is here. Suppose here you, we also have a bin name, right? Bin name, suppose I do xing.model.employee, okay? And both of them exist, you will have error, exception. And it will tell you, you cannot use both of them together. Okay, here goes back, refresh here. Say, uh, use bin, not both. Okay, you cannot use both because this one is to create. This one is also use another way to create. What we can do is remove this one. Okay, for demo purpose. And uh, even we using Java bin that instantiated method, it will still call our constructor, you will see. Uh, change it here you will see the employee being printed out in our output two okay go and refresh oh sorry sorry oh that's uh, the thing because ah oh. oh that's the thing i didn't find out when i prepare for this one okay uh, see here, cannot find any information on property salary in the bin type of a person. So when we're using bin name, it is actually using the type to constructor. So here we have to use an employee. When I do test, I didn't use the, uh, what's the, I didn't use uh, the subtype. So this one, that's this one, I don't know. 
Now we can get okay. So that's another warning. Yes, uh, the when we're using you uh, bin name, it must to be the it it must the type has to be the same as the bin name. It you cannot be using the super type. Okay, that's the thing I'm not aware. So we glad I'm glad I find this out. Okay, and uh, um, I think uh, that's it for this one. But uh, I want to have a. Uh, our this one have a backup here okay i will comment to this one because this is not widely used i will use this one but the here gonna be using class okay and here we're using person okay this one is more common compared to using this one when you uh, search gsp use bin so that's it for this demo. And if you want to have the source code, you can download from the description. Okay. And if you like my video, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye bye.